Welcome to the Baluarte de San Diego Complex, the oldest in Manila, and a national cultural treasure of the Philippines. The complex is composed of two important structures, the ruins of the Torre de Nuestra Señora de Guía and the Baluarte de San Diego itself. In 1571, Spanish conquistador Miguel López de Legazpi re-established Raja Soliman's Manila as the new capital for the growing Spanish Empire in the Far East. As the city grew in wealth and prominence in its new place in the world stage, the need for a stronger defense on the bay side became more apparent. Filipino, Filipino. Hi guys, so we are here at Fort Santiago with our group. Say hi. We are here at Fort Santiago. 
Siya naka-focus. So, dito po kami sa Port Santiago. Hi, Plan. Kung saan? Dito. With the historical Port Santiago. Wow. Pwede na yung ano? Yung nag-click na kami before ng exam. And then... Look at this place. This is so great. Grabe. What can you say about the Fort Santiago? Aesthetic. Bakit ba? Bakit ba naging historic tong Fort Santiago? Paano nga ba? Pinatay din. Fort Santiago Gate. Featured are the arms of Castile and Leon and a wooden relief of the fort's patron, Santiago Matamoros. It serves as the main iconic entrance to Fort Santiago. Raja Sulaiman Theater, one of Fort Santiago's old military barracks converted to an open-air theater after World War II. It is the birthplace of the then Philippine Educational Theater Association, also known as PETA. Rizal Shrine, formerly a military barracks, it was partially reconstructed and now houses a shrine to Jose Rizal. The Casa Manila is a colonial lifestyle museum which features the domestic life of the upper class in 19th century Philippines. Built from 1981 to 1983, the facade of the structure was inspired from a house that once stood at Jabonera Street in the Chinese district of Binondo in the 1850s. In that area, the ground floor of the house is rented out to shops, so it is here in Casa Manila. video for today till our next video so that ends our video for today bye